This is a 2017 Nissan Murano Platinum all-wheel drive. Now the Murano was first introduced by Nissan in 2003 and it was their first SUV in the US market. With SUVs being hugely popular today, is this third generation Murano able to hold its market share with all the different SUV selections out there? We're gonna go over some of the features of this vehicle, take it on the road and see how she handles. Now starting in the front of this Nissan Murano, you're going to find a very attractive front end. Uh, one thing that I like with this particular model is that it has this nice, unique LED daytime running light, which is really nice. Um, being the Platinum Edition, you've got all this chrome trim here and along the bottom, it gives it a very classy look to it. Uh, one thing that I, I wish Nissan had done differently is a lot of manufacturers have integrated the radar cruise control pre-collision system into the emblem with this particular, particular model. It has it down here in the bottom. Um, when you look at it from the front, it just kind of throws the front look of the, uh, of the vehicle off, uh, I personally think. Uh, had they integrated into the emblem, I think it would have been a much cleaner look. And then one other thing that I noticed is that this hood is kind of big and rounded. Uh, so when you're sitting behind the driver's uh, seat, uh, it makes it hard to kind of figure out where the front end is. Uh, I'm sure you get used to it uh, in no time, but again, that's the only thing that I noticed. Uh, otherwise, again, I think it's a very attractive front end uh, on this Nissan Murano. Now looking at the side of the Nissan Murano, we have got a lot going on. Uh, one character that you're going to notice is this character line that runs along the tire width of the vehicle. Uh, and then you also, with the window sill, have this line that goes, uh, you know, across as well. Uh, this adds a little bit of character. It makes the back end look uh, faster and more aggressive. Uh, you do have this body panel down here. It kind of breaks up the, the door here. Now, because it's the Platinum Edition, you do have it in chrome uh, to, you know, give it that, you know, classy look to it. Again, the chrome door handles. This particular tester is uh, riding on the 20-inch rims. Uh, and then you've got the uh, integrated turn signals and this camera here on both of the side mirrors that aids in the 360 bird's eye view. So it lets you see everything pretty much going on on this side of the vehicle as well as the other side. Uh, really nice feature when parking in tight spots. Now this uh, tester does have the Nissan smart key. So like all smart keys, as long as you keep it in your pocket, uh, you push the button, it locks the door, push the button again, it unlocks the door. I do wish Nissan would integrate a touch sensor into the door handle like some manufacturers. You just grab the handle, it automatically unlocks, but Nissan still chooses to integrate everything through the button where, again, you have to push it to unlock it and lock it. So again, I wish they'd make that change. Otherwise, again, uh, very attractive vehicle on this side. Now coming to the rear of the Nissan Murano, again, very attractive here in the, in the back. I do like the LED uh, brake light tail light assembly here. Again, more chrome pieces here. You've got your dual exhaust uh, for that 3.5 liter V6. Um, one thing that I did notice that I find a little bit troublesome is the rear door hatch. Um, once it comes up, it stops right there. I mean, I'm 5'8", I'm not that tall, but I mean, I, I, I can't you know, really you know, stand all the way straight. So if you're, you know, if you're a six foot or, or, or taller, you're gonna be bending down or hitting your head on that quite a bit. Uh, as far as the storage room, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. Um, again, uh, you've got this really high loading uh, deck here. So it's, you know, trying to lift things into this vehicle is gonna be a, a challenge for smaller people. Um, but again, just not a lot of room for you know, this size of vehicle. I mean, if you lay the, the, the seats down, I mean, you do get a little bit more room, but again, from here to here, just not a lot of room. I mean, you figure for an SUV of this size, you'd have a lot more rear uh, space. Uh, majority of it is, you know, is, is taken up with the, the rear tire there. Um, so, you know, had they put that maybe underneath, uh, that could have lowered the floor a little bit, giving you a little bit more uh, load floor. Um, but, you know, again, 
kind of disappointed in the rear uh, of this Nissan Murano. Now getting into the vehicle is pretty easy. It has a very nice, easy step in height. Now one area that I'm not disappointed is this interior. This interior is just gorgeous. Um, you've got this light tan interior, which is padded here. You got soft touch here, padded here. Um, you have this kind of like this pearl um, or, you know, almost like, you know, oyster inlay that goes around the entire width of the dash, which is kind of nice. Uh, and then also along here and then on the armrest here. Um, you've got one touch uh, uh, windows here, but not for the rear. And then you've got your heated steering wheel controls right here. And of course your standard steering wheel controls there. Uh, the push to start is here. You just put your foot on the brake, starts up the vehicle. You have a nice seven inch uh, informational display right there, which is really nice. And then you've got a nice eight inch uh, touchscreen display here and your you know, climate controls. You also have this nice panoramic sunroof which is really nice, lets in a lot of sun. Um, but yeah, very nice interior. Now, a couple of things, again, while it is very nice, not perfect, uh, you do have plenty of storage in here uh, for whatever you need. Um, that's pretty nice and deep. Uh, one thing I thought was a little weird though, is this little spot right here. I guess this is supposed to be for your cell phone. Now, you put your cell phone there, but you can't close it. So um, again, I, I don't know, maybe that's supposed to be for a really small phone. I mean, this is just a standard iPhone uh, 6 there. Uh, and then USB, I, I noticed when I was trying to hook up Apple CarPlay, the USB plug right here is very tough to get it in. I mean, with this opening here and then, you know, just trying to get that USB cable to fit in there is really tough. I wish they had located it, you know, around here somewhere or maybe in the glove box or even in the armrest, but uh, you know, they decided to put that there. So, uh, you know, honestly, I think that's a little bit of a wasted space. Uh, again, you do have, you know, nice size cup holders. Uh, this uh, tester does have heated and ventilated seats, which is really nice here in Florida uh, to have. Uh, so yeah, again, just a very nice interior, plenty of room in the back. The rear seats are heated. Um, you know, so that's nice for uh, the winter time as well. Now that we're inside the vehicle, let's get it on the road and see how she handles. So riding around in the 2017 Nissan Murano, it's very compliant. Uh, the going over bumps is really smooth. Uh, this, this suspension soaks up the bumps really well. Uh, it is quiet, uh, but not too quiet like you would find in some higher luxury um, vehicles uh, you do hear a little bit of the road noise especially if you get on the gas pedal you get a lot of engine noise from that 3.5 liter v6 uh, i don't know if it's because it's mated to that cvt transmission so it holds the rpms uh, a little bit uh, when you're you know hard acceleration um, but yeah I, I wish it was a little bit quieter but i mean inside it's just nice and comfortable uh, i could be you know these seats feel great the interior just feels great. I don't, I don't know about the tan interior. Um, you know, I, uh, my kids would have to wear uh, brand new clothes every time. They couldn't wear any uh, used clothes. They'd have to wear brand new clothes all the time because I'm afraid they would just get the interior all dirty uh, real quick. But uh, it is nice while it's clean. Uh, but uh, I guess you'll, you'll see as you own this vehicle for some time how well it, it stays clean. So one thing you'll notice riding in this Nissan Murano is, is uh, you feel nice and high up, uh, giving you a good view of the road in front of you, which is really nice. So, you know, this is a pretty big SUV. It's pretty heavy. Um, obviously, you know, even with this, this engine, the CVT, uh, straight line speed zero to 60 is 7.5 seconds according to Nissan. Um, I mean, personally, I think it, feels slower than that um, you know it feels more like a eight nine second car uh, I could be wrong but just from the seat of the pants feel uh, it's not that it's not that fast um, so yeah I mean you know merging into traffic and everything like that you, you might want to plan a little bit because uh, like I said it's it's not very quick 
So we're at this light here. Uh, when the light turns green, um, we'll do an acceleration test here. And that's 60 right there. So to me, that just felt like it took a long time to get to 60. I mean, the engine was making all this noise because again, the CVT is holding the, the engine up there. But I mean, it just felt like it took forever to get to 60 miles an hour. Driving this vehicle though is really easy. Again, uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier in the video, the hood is kind of high up uh, with those, you know, those swooping arches uh, in the fender there. So it, it does make it kind of hard to see where the front end is, um, uh, you know, like I said, uh, but you know, I'm sure driving this vehicle, you'll get accustomed to that. Otherwise, you know, it's fairly easy to drive. I mean, you've got great visibility out of the windows. The mirrors are a nice size. You've got blind spot monitoring. You've got plenty of visibility in the rear. Uh, I mean, this panoramic sunroof, I know that doesn't really aid in the, you know, the, you know, the driving, but it just gives it a more open feel to it. Uh, it just, you know, lets a lot more sunlight in and it just, it just gives it a really nice um, uh, atmosphere to, to the vehicle having that panoramic sunroof. But again, very easy to drive. So yeah, just driving around in this uh, Nissan Murano, I mean, it's just uh, feels so great. I mean, I would love to be on a long road trip in, in this type of vehicle. I've got the ventilated seats on, which is nice. Um, yeah, so I mean, this is just a very nice, comfortable ride to be in. Well, as you can see, it started raining here, so I guess I'm going to end this review. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, this review. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Also, hit the subscribe button to be notified on my next upload. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this review of the 2017 Nissan Murano Platinum All-Wheel Drive Edition. My name is Mike Smith with Straight Line Speed, and I look forward to seeing you on my next review. Thank you. Thank you to AutoNation Toyota Winter Park for making this review possible.